Welcome back. Each year, an estimated 3,000 Americans are diagnosed with mesothelioma. It's a rare type of cancer that forms in the lining of the major organs in the chest or the stomach. Now, over 70% of people diagnosed with mesothelioma have been exposed to asbestos, making it the leading cause of the disease. Well, the most common form is malignant plural mesothelioma, but less than 30% of patients were candidates for surgery to remove their tumors. My guest today is Dr. Rupesh Kotesha. He's a radiation oncologist at Miami's Cancer Institute, and we're going to talk about mesothelioma and how a technology already approved for brain cancer is offering a new innovative option for treatment. Welcome. Well, thanks so much for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Really appreciate you joining me. Well, we hear a lot about mesothelioma, of course, on television. Uh, what is malignant plural mesothelioma and uh, what are the symptoms? It's a great question. You know, we do see this all over the ads, whether it's print or media, but mesothelioma, as you had mentioned, is a rare type of cancer. It starts in the protective linings of either your chest or your abdomen. And malignant plural mesothelioma is actually a subset of this disease. And this accounts for the majority of cases of mesothelioma, which is the cancer that affects the lining of the lungs. And what are the risk factors? Yeah, there are a number of risk factors that are associated with development of mesothelioma, most commonly, again, the lung. But according to the American Cancer Society, the most common association and the best evidence that we have to connect the two etiologies is really associated with past exposure to asbestos. And in our history, it's been associated mostly with occupational exposure rather than a natural exposure to asbestos. Now, we know that asbestos has been used for a number of years really a variety of industries because it has properties that make it resistant to heat or even resistant co to combustion. And therefore it was used in a variety of industries and patients were exposed to asbestos 20, 30, or even 40 years later than are at risk for developing mesothelioma. And what are the most common signs and symptoms? That's a great question. You know, most patients with malignant pleural mesothelioma specifically have a gradual onset of symptoms and most of these are really nonspecific. There's no way to tell that this is particularly mesothelioma. They could have chest pain, shortness of breath, cough, hoarseness. They could have night sweats, difficulty swallowing. And they could also have nonspecific symptoms, fatigue or even weight loss. But really it takes a workup, that history of exposure to asbestos, and then appropriate imaging to really make the diagnosis of mesothelioma. I understand there's a new medical device that's been approved by the FDA to help treat malignant plural mesothelioma. How does it work? Well, that's right. Actually, just approved in 2019, Optun Lua, which is this therapy you're talking about, was actually the first FDA approved treatment for malignant plural mesothelioma in over 15 years. Now, it's used to treat adult patients who have unresectable, either locally advanced or metastatic malignant pleural mesothelioma, and it's used along with the standard chemotherapy, which is a pemetrexid or platinum-based chemotherapy. Now, as you'd mentioned at the beginning, a majority of patients cannot have surgery for their disease. And therefore, outside of surgery, these non-surgical treatments are, are quite limited, actually. Now, Optune Lua is a wearable, portable cancer treatment. It works by creating tumor treating fields, or TT fields, which are invisible wave-like electric fields that are delivered right into the body, into the area of the cancer. Now, these electric fields are not strong enough to hurt your, for example, your lungs or your heart, but they are strong enough to stop or even slow your cancer cells from dividing or growing, splitting apart. Is the device implanted? So this device is actually associated with a battery pack, and then the electric fields are actually delivered through transducer arrays. You can think of it as kind of very large adhesive patches that are placed on the chest, sometimes on the front and the back, sometimes on the sides of the chest. We des designed where those arrays, the transducer patches are actually placed um, based on a patient's gender, their size, where's the location of their disease, where's the extent of their disease. We personalize it for every patient to ensure that their cancer is being treated by these invisible electric fields. Will this treatment help to reduce tumors and potentially help to prolong someone's life? 
Well, in the clinical study that was performed before we started using it at our institution or even the FDA gave it an approval, we saw that patients who used Optune Lua along with the standard chemotherapy actually saw their mesothelioma shrink or even stop growing. And the patients who used it on this clinical study experienced a survival of 18 months. And this really led to the FDA approval for this treatment. In fact, it was actually approved under a specific pathway called the humanitarian device exemption pathway because it's classified as a humanitarian use device. It's to accelerate the development for rare diseases such as mesothelioma. And doctor, where can we go for some more information? Well, great. So the website to check out if you are interested in learning about this treatment option is really the name of the device. So it's Optune Lua, www.optunelua.com. Dr. Rapesh Kotesha has been my guest. He's a radiation oncologist at Miami Cancer Institute, and we've been talking about a specific type of mesothelioma called malignant pleural mesothelioma. There are some new treatment options available. Be sure to check with your doctor and or your healthcare provider to see if it's an option for you. Thanks so much, doctor, for joining me. Thanks again for having me. Have a wonderful day.